Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're gonna to talk about the five reasons to use Samsung Messages. Now, all five of these features are not found on Android Messages. So obviously there is a huge advantage of having Samsung Messages when you have a Samsung smartwatch. It just has the compatibility and you're not able to have Android Messages go straight to the watch and have notifications and such. So I'm gonna leave that one out of this running just because not everybody has a watch. Also upcoming in a near future video, I will be talking about Messages for web versus link to windows so if anybody is asking questions about a feature called link to windows or doing it on a computer or anything like that that is a upcoming video these are specific features built inside of the application that is not involving a watch and not involving a computer the first one is pinning conversations to the top so what you're able to do is if you would like to distinguish a particular conversation or multiple conversations, you can always have them shown on the top, even if other people have been messaging you and they are newer notifications. So how you're able to pin one of these conversations to the top is by simply pressing and holding on that conversation, go into those more options on the top right hand side and pin the top. So this way you can distinguish what is really important, something that you always want to appear on the top of any conversation. Even though more new conversation and new text messages come in into play, you'll always be able to have this one shown and distinctively on the top of the screen. Now to get rid of any of these ones, just press and hold, select the ones that you would like to unpin from the top, and then they will appear down here. And then if another text message come in, let's say that Brett was to send me a text, then it'll come right around here, even though this one is still gonna show on the very top. Feature number two that is not found in Android messages is a way that you're able to use your Samsung notes. So if you've already placed notes, maybe a shopping list, Christmas list, a whole bunch of different ideas, if you hit on this plus icon and you go inside of Samsung notes, you're able to basically just tap on any of these ones and it places it into the conversation right away. And with ease, it's a way that you don't even have to do a copy and paste. Feature number three is a way that you're able to have starred messages. Starred message just means it's something that was of importance, maybe a date or an appointment, and then you're able to star it and it'll show up right here in this one screen. When you tap on it, it'll take you right over there so you can read the entire conversation. And this one was written on October 7th, which was quite a while ago. In order for me to find that, I'd have to go like this, try to find where it was talked about, trying to find the date, and sometimes it may take a long time and you probably will never find it. So how you're able to have a starred message is just by going inside of a message, pressing and holding, and then just hit on star message. Now, once it's starred, you're gonna see that small little star, and then now you know it's saved. And so at any point in time, if you need to refer back to this message, this date, this time, this appointment, whatever it may be, just go inside of your main screen of conversations and click on starred messages. And then they're all gonna show up right over here. And you can see that there was two of them underneath this contact. Let's say that we go on back. Let's say that I go to Jamie uh, and I wanted to star this message as well. And then now when I go into starred messages, there's gonna be two different conversations that have stars. And anytime you go into any of them, you'll know Notice as many starred conversations or comments as possible. Feature number four that is not found in Android messages is a way that you're able to schedule a text message. So this one might not come into play for everybody, but when you do need to have a message go off at a certain day, a certain time, this is a way that you're able to basically have it be reminded and done for you. So let's say like maybe on Friday, uh, the 29th, we needed to send a text message at let's say 11:59 p.m. Maybe maybe this is for New Year's and you wanted to say Happy New Year's everybody and you don't you probably don't see yourself staying up all the way until the New Year's time. You're able to send off text messages this way or maybe somebody is going on a flight or maybe you're going somewhere and you don't want to message anybody, you know, super early or maybe you can't wake up to text message somebody super early. This is a way that you're able to send off a text message you put in the time and you just say uh, you know, wake up. So in this way you don't have to do it and then this will do it for you. And then once you have that one going, you can see that there is a little time right there letting you know that this one is scheduled for Friday, November 29th at 3.03 a.m. Uh, if you needed to send it now or delete it or edit, you can also do that just by pressing on that little clock icon. And then feature number five that's not found on Android messages, and I kind of wish it was there, was changing the scale or the size of the text simply by just doing a press and hold. So you're not able to do a press and hold on Android messages, so you're not able to make it bigger if you needed it to be, but it's one of those small things that you were able to do with inside of the Samsung messaging application. 
But I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.